thing. Wait, what does Button have to do? They should bow down to this. So, Mr. Button, are you gonna bow down? That's fucking ridiculous. Oh. So, you, hold on. Oh. The Lord said you have to lick up the dust of our feet. Come on, so, Ron. Button, I hate to break the news to you, but I really don't. But you have to, you have to kiss the boots out here. All praises. First off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. The brother Ron brought it out mighty in the spirit, and we're going to keep rolling on with it, right? So let me get the book of uh, 2 Maccabees, chapter 4, verse 15. All right? Let me get the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 6. All right? So if you don't know who we are here for, we are here for you so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to let you know that you are the real Jews and Israelites according to the Bible. All right? Right, so when you get that second Maccabees 4 and 15, we're gonna start that off. Alright. So now it's our time for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to wake up. Alright. You need to come back and take back your true nationality, alright? That's right. So read what you got. This book of Second Maccabees, chapter 4, verse 15. Not settling by the honors of their fathers. Read that, read, slow it down. Read that again from the top. Not setting for by the honors of their father. By the what? Honors of their father. By the what? Honors of their father. Oh, not setting by the honors of their fathers, right? Because like the brother was bringing out, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans don't know that you have a rich heritage, that you got a rich history. Our people think that history start in 1619 when they was brought over here in slavery, right? But like the brother was bringing out, this Bible from front to back talk about our forefathers, right? Right? Our leaders are not uh, damn Joe Biden and Donald Trump. According to the Bible, all the kings of the Bible were so-called black men, right? Right? King David, King Solomon, King Hezekiah, King Jehoshaphat, all the kings and the prophets were so-called black men, right? Read on. But liken the glory of the Greece. The what? The glory of the Greece. The what? Glory of the Greece. And the glory of the Greeks. Our people love the glory of the Greeks, man. Right? That's why our people were celebrating Halloween this week. Right? Because they love the glory of the Greeks. Right? Yeah, if you a so called black woman, you got to get out. All right? We're going to tell you straight up. All right? Talking about we love. And hey, we don't give a damn about Halloween. Right? Talking about we love Halloween. Ain't to hell with Halloween, man. That's right? right. Our people wicked as hell, man. Right? And our people wonder why they be out here uh, destroyed. Our people talking about, uh, yeah, uh, somebody put uh, needles in my kids' Halloween candy. That's what your dumb ass get, man. Right. Our people not supposed to be celebrating no wicked ass Halloween, man. Right? Don't you know you got all types of sick, twisted bastards out here, man? Right? The so-called white man be putting damn poison in your kids' candy, right? He be putting damn needles in your kids' candy. When you simple-ass Negroes gonna wake up, man, right? Wonder why your kid eat a damn, eat a damn Kit Kat and his damn face start turning blue, right? From all that damn poison that these damn devils be putting in your damn candy. Hey, all you damn devils going to captivity. And Becky, you don't even know how to damn dance, right? You don't know, you don't know how to dance, right? But like in the glory of the Grecians best of all. But like in the what? The glory of the Grecians best of all. And our people love the glory of the Grecians. That's why our people out here holding hand in hand with their damn enemies. That's why our people out here integrating with the same people that kill and oppress them. Right? You know? By reason whereof, saw so, so calamity. What? Ca what? Saw so calamity. The Lord says saw so calamities, man. That's why our people are out here getting destroyed every single day, man, right? That's why the Lord is allowing the so-called white man to put his damn knee on your neck. That's why the Lord is allowing the so-called white man to shoot you down like a dog in the street, man, right? Because you want to hold hand in hand with the same people that kill you, man, you know? By reason where all of sore calamity came upon them, for they had them to be their enemy. Yeah, what? 
Their enemies. What is the so-called white man? Their enemies. What about the so-called Jewish man? Their enemies right. and avengers. Right. Whose custom they what, who's what? Whose custom? What about Halloween? Whose custom? What about Thanksgiving? Whose custom? What about Christmas? Whose customs? Right. They follow so earnestly. So earnestly. Our people love to keep the ways of the heathen. The Lord said, envy thou not the oppressor. The Lord said, learn not the ways of the heathen. Right? Right? So right. now it's time for our people to wake up. Right? Hey, that's why the Lord put Kyrie Irving and, and Kanye West in certain positions. To wake our people up. Right? The Lord was like, look, y'all ain't gonna listen to my service that I send out on the streets every week. Well, maybe y'all maybe y'all listen if I put up these so-called celebrities. Right? So our people, it's time to wake up out of this deep sleep, man. Right? For far too long, the so-called white man has stole your identity. Right? For so for far too long, the so-called white man has has uh, benefited off the riches of our bloodshed, man. Right? Read on. And to whom they desire to be like. Wait, uh, what the so uh, so-called black man want to do? And unto they so like unto to whom. They desire to be like it. Wait, what, what, what the so-called black woman want to do? Desire to be like in all things. They desire to be like these damn devils in all things, man. That's why you see the so-called black woman walking around with blonde hair in her head, right? That's why you see the so-called black woman walking hand in hand with a damn white man. That's why you see our, our, our brothers walking hand in hand with a damn white woman, right? Shaving their damn face. Want to be a part of the damn police department, right? You know? For it is not a light thing. For it is what? Not a light, light thing, thing right? to do wickedly. To do what? To do wickedly. So it's not a light thing to do wickedly, man. Read on. Against the laws of God. Against the what? Laws of God. Right, read on. But the time following shall declare these things. Right. And the time following go declare these things, man. Right? When you see more death and destruction come upon our people, you gonna know all these things happen to us because we continue to break God's commandments, right? So read what you got, um, and let me get the book of Deuteronomy chapter nine, verse thirteen. Let me get Deuteronomy nine and thirteen. Read what you got, right? And our, our sisters gotta put on modest support and come back to the Lord, all right? That's right. That don't make no damn sense, man, right? Because our people think that God gonna love them. Whatever the hell they do, they think God just gonna love them and accept them, right? We coming out here to tell our people that now is the time to change your life, right? You can't do whatever the hell you want to do, right? Week in the week out, our people come out here and say, what you mean God don't love me? Because I eat this pork. That's not God. That's not my God. My God, my God gonna love me even though I eat pork. My God gonna love me even though I defile my temple with cigarettes and weed. My God don't love me even though I'm a murderer, right? But that's not the God of this Bible, right? That's like that's like if you got a child, right? And you tell your child, look, you gotta you gotta wash the dishes. And he said, no, nah, F you nigga. And he spit in your face. You think you think he's supposed to love you, right? That don't make no damn sense, man. Right? Hey Ron. <laughs> that's like that's like yo yo your, your son, right? You say, hey, clean your room up. He say, no, F you, dad. Are you, you think you're going to get away with that? That's going to be the last time. Right. <laughs> that don't make no sense. So, you, so the Lord tell you to keep his commandments and you don't want to do it. You think he going to love you? You think you can disrespect the most high God and he still going to love you? You have to make that make sense, man. Right? Read what you got. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 7, verse 6. Right. Seek not to be judged. So like in 12 and 6. Right. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 6. For the most high hateth sinner. Wait, the Lord do what? For the most high hateth sinner. So the scriptures say that the most high hateth sinners, right? But I thought God was all love, right? I thought God loved everybody. The Bible just said that the most high hateth sinners, right? And what is a sinner? According to 1 John 3 and 4, sin is the transgression or breaking the laws of the Lord. So if you are a sinner, that means you're actively breaking God's commandments. That's right. right? So the Lord said he hates those that continue to break his commandments. So no, God don't love everybody. Right? The Lord said he hates sinners. So if you out here 
being a damn prostitute, the Lord say he hates you. If you out here holding hand in hand with your enemy, the Lord say he hates you. That's right. right. And you need to get out, all right? Get out. And separate from that damn devil, all right? Right? So if you out here eating shrimp, crab, and lobster, and, and you a so-called black Hispanic or Native American, the Lord say he hates you. Right? So God don't love everybody. That's right. Our people think they can be as wicked as they want to be, and God still got to love them. Right? But we out here to let you know you have to change your life and come back to these commandments. Right? Or you're going to be the next Negro with a damn knee on his neck, crying to his damn mama. Right? So read on. For the Most High hateth sinners right. and will repay vengeance. And will do what? Will repay vengeance. Now he gonna let them get away with it. Will repay vengeance. And the Lord said he about that get back, right? That's right. The Lord said, hey, you think you gonna get away with this? You ain't finna get away with it, right? That's why people out here suffer from high blood pressure and diabetes. Yeah. That's why people get shot down in the streets. That's why our people, our people think they can be as wicked as they want to be and God still go love them, right? You know, you know what Jake come out here and say? He said, look, I'm out here sleeping. I'm out here uh, making whores out of my own sister. But ain't, ain't nothing happened to me yet. Don't worry about it. That STD coming around. Trust me. Right? Jake out here, well, well man, I've been out here robbing the head. Look, some niggas. Ain't nothing happened to me yet. Hey, don't worry. Them hollow tips coming soon, man. That's right. Hey, i seen it happen too many times. You think you're doing good one second. Hey, you turn your head, and then here come these bullets coming at your head. Right? And then you end up another nigga slumped up on the news, man. Right? So our people got to wake up. So read on. And we'll pay vengeance unto the ungodly. And we'll do what? And we'll repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Right? And keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. Oh, wait. Of their what? Of their punishment. What's going to happen if you break God's commandments? Of their punishment. Of their punishment. The Most High God is one that punishes people, man. Amen. Right? And y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord? All right, well, y'all got to repent and keep the commandments, all right? Y'all Israelites, all right? Our right, people love to walk by and say, amen, amen, but they don't want to hear the words of the Lord. Right. <laughs> right, right. That, that don't make no damn sense, right? Our people love, look, that's why the Lord said, these people draw nigh to me with their mouth and speak sweetly with their lips, but their, their heart is far from me, right? Our people love to say, hallelujah, amen, praise Jesus, but they don't want to do nothing that the Lord tell them to do. Right, so we gonna get into that. Read that Deuteronomy nine and thirteen, and let me get the book of uh, let me get the book of Job chapter four verse twenty. Read what you got. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter nine verse thirteen. Furthermore, the Most High spake unto me, saying, right. I have seen this people. I have did what? Seen this people. What the Lord said about these so-called Negroes. I have seen these people. What he said about the so-called Latinos. I have seen this people. What he said about the so-called Native Americans. I have seen this people. The Lord said, I have seen this people. Read on. And behold, right. it is a stiff-necked people. It is a what? Stiff-necked people. It is a what? Stiff-necked people. So stiff-necked means they hard-headed, right? The Lord said, I have seen this people, and this people is a hard-headed people, man. They don't want to come back and keep my commandments and do what I tell them to do, right? Right? That's right. So the Lord said, I have seen this people, and behold, it's a stiff-necked people. Our people are the only people on the planet that, that, that loves to kill themselves, man, right? Our people are suicidal. Our people are the only people that they, sit, they, they go to the damn store and get a pack of cigarettes on the pack of cigarettes, it tell you that it can give you cancer, and our people still smoke it anyway. We tell you, brother, you gotta put that cigarette out now. I'm gonna be all right. <laughs> but the, 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 on the pack, it say may cause cancer. What the hell are you talking about? This people is a stiff necked people, man. Right? Read on. Let me alone. The Lord said, "What? Let me alone." The Lord said, "Let me alone, man." That's why the Lord said in the book of Hosea, he said, I'm going to go and turn ret uh, return it to my place until they acknowledge their offense. Right. It's time for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to wake up and realize that you have broken God's commandments. The reason why you in this situation is because our forefathers and our people today continue to break God's commandments. Right? You know? Let me alone that I may destroy them. That he may do what? Destroy them. That he may do what? Destroy, destroy them. them. Our people been destroyed, man. Hey, sis, how you doing, sis? Let me ask you a question real quick. Can I ask you something real quick? What's your ethnicity? Your ethnicity, your race. 
You black? All right, can we show you something real quick? Uh, praise you. Get his sister in hand. Get his sister in hand. Uh, praise you. So let me get Deuteronomy 28, all right? Do you know what we out here for? All right, we gonna show you, right? Cause you said your ethnicity and your race is black, right? So look at this brother uh, hoodie. What color is his hoodie? Black. What color is your skin? Black. So how are you black? You see that? Who? What group of people uh, put the title on you as being black? Bring it out, Steve. Bring it out. No, you ain't got it. You ain't got it. Look, you know, come on. Come on with it. You say who? We, wait, we got. You say who? That's right. So the same people that, that, that put us in slavery and did all these horrible things to us, they're the ones that gave you that name. So can you trust these people? Why would you trust the same people that hung you from trees? Why would you trust the same people that, that burned you alive? That fed your children and alligators? That, no, I'm just saying, I'm just saying in general. We can't trust these people. These people put the title on us as being black, right? So we gonna show you who you are according to the Bible. You believe in the Bible? All right, let's show you something real quick. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and uh no, give me 29 and 1. Do you know who God is speaking to in this Bible? Because in the church they tell you that God is talking to everybody. Do you know who God is talking to? Alright, so we're gonna show you read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 1. These are the words of the covenant which the most high commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. With the what? Children of Israel. With the what? Children of Israel. So this whole Bible from front to back is about the children of Israel, which are God's chosen people. So we're going to go into the Bible and prove to you how we know that you are Israelite. So give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. We're going to give you just a few verses real quick, all right? We ain't going to hold you up, so let's get that real quick. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Right. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. to observe to do all his commandments right. and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So the Lord the Lord made a, a covenant with the children of Israel. Just like a contract. You know a contract, right? Say say I got a uh, I got a contract for you. You sign that contract, that means you have to do everything that's on that contract, right? So we signed a contract with the Most High God. So the Lord told us that we have to keep His commandments. But let's, let's see what's going to happen if we don't keep God's commandments, you know? That all these curses... All these what? All these curses... Is a curse, is a, curse a good thing or a bad thing? How, how could a curse be good, though? I mean, it can be good, but it can turn out bad. But if I say I'm going to put a curse on you, is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's a bad thing. So the Lord said for breaking His commandments... He gonna put curses upon his chosen people. You know that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. Curses shall thou. Hold on, hold on. So let's read that part again. Curses shall thou be in the city. The Lord said, "What? Curses shall thou be in the city." So look, remember, remember, since who is the Lord talking to? He talking to the Israelites. So he said, "If you don't keep my commandments, I'm gonna put curses on you." One of the curses he said, "You gonna be cursed in the city." So when you look at any city around the world, what group of people is cursed in the city? Where you from? You said, huh? Where in North Carolina? How are people living in Wilder, North Carolina? You said, huh? Regular, but I'm saying like, when you look at any so-called black community, what, where do we live at in the city, right? In the poor parts of the city, right? Do everybody live in the poor parts? What no. What, no, what about Chinese people? Do they live in the ghettos with us? What about the Japanese? They live in the projects with us? What about the white man? He living in the hood with us? No, that's talking about the Israelites. So if we fit that curse, who, who will we be according to the Bible? That's, that's right. So let's read on. Hold on, I gotta go. All right, hold on. Get, get the sister a fly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Real quick, real quick. Get the sister a fly. All right. So you were Israelite since you got to keep God's commandments, all right? You too. All right, check this out, all right? All right, so go back to that in Deuteronomy uh, 9 and 13. So that's what we out here to do. We out here to wake up our people. Because the so-called Jewish man out here claiming that he the real Jews. But we out here to let you so-called Negroes know that you are the real Jews according to the Bible. Right? Right? These damn devils not going to get away with this, man. Right? The Most High God is waking up his chosen people in these last days, man. Right? Read on. Let me alone that I may destroy them. That he may do what? Destroy them. Right. 
and blot out their name. Hold on, so the Lord said, let me alone that I may destroy them. That's why our people are destroyed today, right? Every other nation know that custom, huh? She what? Oh, uh, well, hey, look. All right, come on, come on. See, look. This you now? Yeah, I want to go get it. All right. Hey, hey, see, this word ain't for everybody, all right? This word ain't for everybody, all right? Hey, look. <laughs> hey, that's why the Lord said only one third gonna make it, man. Right. This word ain't for everybody. Our people love being in captivity, uh, captivity for some reason, all right? I don't understand it, but hey. Hey, the servants of the Lord, we trying to get the hell up out of this captivity, right? We trying to get the hell up out of this oppression, right? We sick of being oppressed by our inferior nations, man. Right. Look, look at this. I mean, come on. This is pathetic, man. That's right. We are being ruled by weak, pathetic, inferior people like this, man. Right. Right? right? So our people need to wake the hell up. Our people, I, I don't understand this, man. Why the hell do you love being, being them uh, uh, equal to these people? Our people love being mediocre. Our people love being equal to the same people that oppress them. Right? Our people love coming out here getting drunk and acting a damn fool, right? When the hell you gonna wake your ass up and come back to the Lord, right? Our sisters love walking around dressed like damn sluts with damn fake hair in their head. That's right. Right? That don't make no damn sense, man. Hey, hey, that sister, I guess she she got she living her best life in America, right? That don't make no sense, man. Read that part again. That I may destroy them. That he may do what? Destroy them. And our people are destroyed. We the only nation of people on the planet that don't know who the hell we are. Every other nation know their customs. Every other nation know their heritage. Every other nation know their language. But when you ask the so-called black man, he don't know nothing. You ask the so-called black man, well, I'm Nubian. I'm Egyptian. I'm a five percent. I'm fried chicken and watermelon, right? <laughs> Right? I'm a I'm a Moor. I'm a I'm a seven day Adventist. I'm a Christian. I'm a Catholic. I'm a I'm a uh, damn uh Muslim. Right? Our people want to be everything under the sun but who they truly are according to this Bible. Right? That's right. When the hell when the hell these simple ass Negroes gonna wake the hell up, man? Right? How many times do the so-called white man gotta put his damn knee on your neck? How many times do the so-called white man gotta pull a damn bullet in your face for you to wake up and realize who you are according to the Bible? That don't make no damn sense, man. Right? We don't. That I may destroy them and blot out their name. And do what? Blot out their name. And do what? Blot out their name. So the Lord has blotted out our name, read. From under heaven. So the Lord has blotted out our name from under heaven. That's why the Lord put the spirit in these other nations like you read in, uh, in Psalm 83. He said all these other nations take crafty counsel. They are confederate against us. He said that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Right? So now our people don't identify with being an Israelite. That's why the so-called Jewish man been getting away with stealing your identity. Right? Now our people think they Haitian, which is which is a land of high mountains. Now people think they Jamaican, a land of wooden waters. Now people think they damn Puerto Rican, which is a damn rich port. Now people think they African American, which is two names after two different white men, right? Our people need to wake their ass up, man, right? That's it on that. Read what you got in Job. Let me get the book of Lamentations, chapter yeah, five, verse yeah. one. Let me get Lamentations five and verse one, right? Read what you got. This is the book of Job, chapter four, verse twenty. They are destroyed from morning to evening. They are what? They are destroyed from morning to evening. The Lord said our people are destroyed from morning to evening. How are our people destroyed? Right? Look, this, look at this man. This man. Uh -huh. The Lord said we are destroyed from morning to evening. How do you destroy a nation of people? First off, you destroy a nation of people by making them think that this is their God. That's how you... I got it, King. That's how you destroy a nation of people. You see this... Look at this. Look at this madness. Is this your God, Becky? Hey, Becky, is this your God? Hey, Karen. Hey, Karen, is this your God, Karen? <laughs> this, hey, this sweet Jesus. This Karen, this her sweet Jesus. Right? <laughs> so the Lord said, we are destroyed from morning to evening. Our people are destroyed because they think that this is their God. Ain't it crazy how the same man that put you in slavery is your God? Right? All right, bro. All right. Be safe out here, bro. All right, right. So that don't make no damn sense, man. 
Our people think the same man that put them in captivity is their God, right? So the Lord said we are destroyed from morning to evening, right? That's why like the brother was bringing out, our people are okay with shooting each other down in the streets. But they weren't there to test the so-called white man, right? They ain't gonna test the so-called, they said, no, nah, that's my guy. I ain't gonna put my hands against my guy. I ain't gonna touch my master, but this this good for nothing ass nigga, I'ma kill him. Oh, you, you mean mugging me, nigga, I'ma kill you. You step on my shoes, nigga, I'ma kill you, right? Right? That don't make no damn sense, man, right? But our people not gonna rise up and fight against their true enemies, right? So, you know? They perish forever. And do what? They perish forever. Right? Without any regarding it. Right? Without any regarding it, right? These people don't care about our people. Hey, how do y'all feel about these posters? Hey, Becky, come here, Becky. Hey, Becky, where you going, Becky? <laughs> hey, Karen, come here, Karen. Where you going? <laughs> Read that part again. Becky, Becky. They perish forever. Right? Without any regarding it. We finna, hey, look, look, hey, watch this, watch this, right? Watch this. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. Hey, how y'all feel about this? How y'all feel about this? Come here. How you feel about this? See, hey, read that again, read that again. They perish forever right. without any regarding. Without what? Without any regarding. Without what? Without any regarding. Without any regarding it. Hey, these damn devils don't give a damn about our people, right? The Lord said we perish without any regarding it. You think these damn devils give a damn about our people, right? The so-called Chinese, they don't give a damn about our people. The so-called white men don't give a damn about our people. They say, oh, we're sorry, that was in the past, right? Hey, how y'all feel about that? Y'all see that? How y'all feel about that? <laughs> Read that part. You, you can't make this up. You cannot make this up. Read that part again. They perish forever. I, 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 thought, they, I thought they feel sorry about this. I thought they feel, hey, how y'all feel about this? What the hell is that? Yeah. Right, that ain't... <laughs> You cannot make this stuff up, man. These damn devils can't answer a simple damn question, right? Answer, answer the damn question, right? They can't answer a simple damn question. Read that part again. They perish forever without any regarding Without any regarding it, man. These damn devils don't give a damn about our people, man. But our people think that these, these damn devils is their damn friends, right? These people think that the so-called white man care about them. Right? Why? I don't know, man. It don't make no damn sense. The so-called white man don't give a damn about you so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. That's right. Right? Without any regard in it, man. If you really think they cared about our people, would they be out here turning up, getting drunk? Uh-huh. Right? Hey, watch this. We gonna get them. See, we, they, we, we on they ass tonight. What? Hey, hey, let me ask y'all a question. How y'all feel about this? No thank you. I, I asked you a question. What the hell you talking about? No thank you. See, these are children of fools. These are base men, right? The so-called white man is the most foul, disgusting beast upon the face of the earth, man. That's right. In the service of the Lord, we're not playing games with these damn people, man. Hey, how y'all feel about this? How you feel about that? How you feel about that? That's why your ass going to captivity, right? Right? That's why these damn devils got to go into captivity. Hey, 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 y'all two right there, orange, orange, hey, orange sweatshirt, orange sweatshirt, hey, you right there. You see, she running, she running from the words of the Lord. Hey, brother, hey, brother, hey, brother, you got to separate from these damn devils, all right? That don't make no damn sense, man. That don't make no damn, our people are destroyed. Hey, the Lord said, our people are destroyed from morning to evening. <laughs> these people can't answer a simple damn question, but hey, hey, watch this, watch this. Hey, y'all in that, in that white truck. Hey, how y'all feel about this? You in the back seat in a red shirt. How you feel about this? Yeah, fuck you to you damn dog. Right? Right? Yeah, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna worry about that. We ain't, yeah, we ain't gonna worry about that. <laughs> hey, that don't make no damn sense, man. Right? Read on. They perish forever without any regarding it. Without what? Without any regarding it. The only reason why the so-called white man has his kingdom because it was built off the backs of the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans, right? We own this country, right? We build this country, right? But these damn devils, they don't give a damn, man, right? These damn devils don't give a damn, but they claim that they sorry, right? We don't. 
doth not their excellency, which is in them, go away. They die. They do what? They die. What do our people do? They die. Even without wisdom. Even without what? Even without wisdom. Our people die without wisdom, right? What's going on? You got a question? No, I like what you're doing, dude. You like what we're doing? Yeah. Do you know what we're doing? Yeah. All right, so let me ask you a question. All right. Fair enough. All right, how do you feel about this right here? No, fuck that. Right, so how do you feel about that? No, that's not cool. That's not cool? So who did that to these people? I guess us. You said us? That's right, all right. So let me ask you a question, right? So that happened in the past, right? And it's still, to be honest with you, it's still happening to this day, right? So what's gonna happen to the people that did that to those people? Probably nothing. Probably nothing? You know, can, can, can we show you what's gonna happen? All right. <laughs> give, me, give me Isaiah 14, 21. Give me, uh, give me Amos 9 and 11. Let me get the book of Amos chapter 9 and verse 11. Right, let me get Isaiah 14, 21. Right. What was your name? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. So the lure of the Bible, he said prepare slaughter. Do you know what slaughter is? Do you know what that word slaughter means? What does it mean? What is this? I don't know what this means. You got, what does that mean? Slaughter, I mean slaughter, man? Yeah. What I don't is, know what slaughter means. But what is it? I want to hear it from you. I mean fucking like chopping, chopping the heads off. Chopping heads off. Well, okay. We go with that. So the Lord said prepare, prepare this beheading for who? I didn't get it. For his children. For his what? For his children. For his what? For his children. Wait, what is he? For his children. What's your name? What's your name? Button, your name is Button. So, so he said, prepare slaughter for Button. We don't for the iniquity of their <laughs> for the iniquity of their father. For the what? The iniquity of their father. Right. So your forefather is the one that did this, right? So what did the Bible just say have to happen to you for that? I, hey, that's what the that's what the Bible just said. It ain't about what I want. It's what the what, what the Lord said. Right? I'm so do you, do you accept that? Hold I on. Mean, I, if you're if you're gonna cut my head off, go ahead. Yeah. All right. So let's read it. I, I don't I don't agree with uh -huh. any of that. All right. Nine eleven. And let me get let me get that in Isaiah 49, 49. All right. So do you feel sorry for this? All right. So are you willing to show us how sorry you are? All right. So give me a minute. Let's read it. This is the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacles of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. And I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. That they may possess. That they may do what? That they may possess. What does the word possess mean? Give. Control to own, right? To have power over something. So he said that we may possess, read. The remnant of Edom. The what? The remnant of Edom. What is button? Edom. So according to the Bible, I know you would today you would call yourself a so-called white man or a European, right? But according to the Bible, the so-called white people will be Edomites. That's your biblical nationality. I'm an Edomite? Yes, you are an Edomite. Because you're not really white though. Look, look at this sign. This sign is white. Are you the same color as this sign? No. So you can't be white. That's impossible. Are you the same color as that car behind you? No, so you can't be white. According to the Bible, you will be a Edomite. So it said we will possess the remnant of Edom. What does that sound like? Did y'all possess us during slavery? So the Bible said it's gonna be. It's, hold on, the Bible said it's gonna come a time where we gonna have to possess y'all the same way that y'all possessed us, right? So you said that you feel sorry for this, right? So are you? Are you? Hold on. Hold on. Right, right. Hold on, but let me ask you a question. Are you, are you, a, are you an honest man? So you don't lie, right? So you say you're willing to show your forgiveness for the acts that your forefathers did, right? All right. So let's go into the Bible and show you how do you show your forgiveness. I'm also not. I'm. I've never been. I'm not religious at all. That's cool, but we go. All right. 
that's that's cool. But we gonna show you something. So you got that in Isaiah 49? Come on, bring that up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 23. So you say that you feel sorry, right? All right, so we gonna show you how to prove that you feel sorry. So, so you, so you okay with that? No. All right, so. No, but I it's not sorry. That's fucking ridiculous. Right. So, it's are you willing to 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 show that you feel bad for that? Right. Are you willing to show that? Are right, we gonna show you how to do that? Read that. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, right. and their queens thy nursing mothers. Right. They shall bow down to thee. Wait, what? What do button gotta do? They shall bow down to thee. Wait, what does button have to do? They shall bow down to thee. So, Mr. Button, are you gonna bow down? That's what I don't want. The Bible say you gotta bow down. Oh, oh, we, we got one. Hold on. Oh, so you, hold on. Oh, we halfway there. All right. So the, the scripture say he shall do what? They shall bow down to thee, right? With their face toward the earth, right? And lick up the dust of thy feet. And do what? Lick up the dust of thy feet. And do what? Lick up the dust of thy feet. Hold on, button. Hold on, button. Hold on, button. The Lord said you have to lick up the dust of our feet. Come on, so, button. I hate to break the news to you, well, I really don't. But you have to, you have to kiss the boots out here. You have to get on your knees and kiss the boots, right? So we, right, right, yeah. Oh, oh. Go, go ahead, button. We waiting. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, button. We wait. Go ahead. <laughs> Quit that solar! Quit that solar! Hey, you not done, but we got a whole line for you. We got a whole assembly line for you. Get in line. Hey, go ahead, get in line, man. Go ahead. That's right. Go ahead, kid. kid. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. You see what's going on? You see what's going on? Hey, hey, you see what's going on? Right? Yeah, you see what's going on? Right? All praises to Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah. Hey, just in case you so called white people didn't notice, your kingdom is coming down. The true service of the earth is raising back up in these last days, man. Right? Hey, but hey, the Lord might show mercy on you, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop right there, buddy. But the Lord, he gonna show mercy on you, all right? All right, so you can enjoy the rest of your night, buddy, all right? So we, 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 hey, we respect that. We respect that, all right? So guess what? Guess what? Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Guess what? Instead of, instead of a thousand lashes in the kingdom, you gonna get 999. <laughs> Oh, I'll pray this to him on side, man. All right, no, no, hold on, buddy, hold on, hold on. Hold on. All right, so what you what you was doing tonight, but You got you you was out here going to a bar. Uh, I was just like, hurricane. I'm from Buffalo. All right. Buffalo, all right, all right. So where you finna go to the sports bar? Something was going on. Yeah, I'm gonna walk that way. All right, man. Hey, enjoy the rest of your night, man. All right, all right. We, we can't shake hands. It's, it's, come on, man. It's COVID. It's monkey pox. That's that shit. Hey, it's, it's COVID. Monkey pox, man. You know. What? All right, button. All right, button. All right, button. All right, button. Yeah, you can try. All right, button. That's right. Hey, hey, it's right. You right, button. All right. All right, button. All right, all right, now, button. All right, all right, button. Right, get get ready. For it. Right, yeah. That's that's how that's how that's how Esau get down. We know how Esau get down, and he gonna enjoy it more than that when it's up his ass. All right, cause he his foot going straight up your ass, right in the cotton field. Sit on that. All right. Hey, right, you gotta push up. All right, bring that out. This is Revelations chapter 18 and 6. Bring it out. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Do what? Reward unto her as, as she. Read that right. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Right. And double unto her. And do what? And double unto her. Right. Double according to her works. Right. In, in the cup which she filled, filled with. <laughs> filled in. Feel to her double. Right, so we have to do double unto them as they did unto us, man. Right? Doing slavery, we was doing a lot more than kissing their damn boots. Right? Don't you know these damn devils, they was using us as a damn as a damn footstool? That's right. Right? They would have our young children bending down on their damn backs and they would put their damn foot and rest their feet on our on our children's backs, man. Right? So hey, that's nothing. Like I said, hey, the Lord might show them a little mercy. Instead of a thousand lashes, he gonna get nine hundred and ninety-nine, right? right? 
instead of doing 5,000 push-ups, he might have to do 4,500, all right? Because you're going hey, to be working on my plantation, yes, all right? 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 Read them. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. He that do what? He that leadeth Lead into captivity right? shall go into captivity. What's going to happen to the so-called white man? Shall go into captivity. So he that leadeth into captivity, look at these posters, right? The so-called white man has put the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity. So the Lord said these people must and will go into captivity, right? Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Bible, all right? You know? And he that killeth with the sword. And he that do what? Killeth with the sword. What did Christopher Columbus do to the native Indians? Killeth with the sword. Right? Must be killed with the sword. Must be what? Must be killed with the sword. Now they might be. Must be killed with the sword. So the Lord said these people blood must be shed in this land. For shedding the blood of the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. Right? You know? What you got? It's the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Be not deceived. God. Hold on, be not what? Be not deceived. And be not deceived, right? These people are deceived. These people think that they gonna get away with thousands of years of rape, rob, and murder. That's right. right? Look at these people. They think the Lord is gonna forgive them for that for what they did to us, man. Right? So the Lord said, you so-called white people be not deceived. We don't. God is not mocked. The Lord said, what? God is not mocked. Right? For whatsoever a man saw it. For whatsoever what? So for whatsoever a man soweth. For whatsoever a man soweth. What has the so-called white man sowing upon the earth? Hey, brother, you need to separate from these damn devils, all right? That's right. What has the so-called white man sowed upon the face of the earth? Besides rape, robbery, and murder. Right? What name me one good thing that the so-called white man has done, right? I want to know one, just one. Give me one good uh, thing that the so-called white man has done since he's been upon the face of the earth. I just want to know one. I just want to know one, right? All the so-called white man do is rape, rob, and murder and steal people's identity, steal people's land, steal people's language, right? So what's going to happen to him for that? Read that. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right, so that's what's coming to these damn devils, man. For what they did to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The Lord said the so-called white man must and will go in captivity. Right. Right? right. So go back to where I had you at. Uh, where was you at? Job 421. And let me get uh, Lamentation. Let me get Lamentations 501. All right, bring that out. And then go back to that in Job. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. Right. So ye shall not pollute the land. So ye shall not do what? Ye shall not pollute the land. And all the so-called white man do is pollute this land, right? All he did was murder millions of so-called Native Americans, million uh, murder millions of so-called blacks, murder millions of so-called uh, Native Americans, right? And Hispanics, right? You know. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. Right. For blood it defileth the land. For what? For blood it defileth the land. Right. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that shed therein. Right. But by the blood of him that shed it. But by the what? But by the blood of him that shed it. So the Lord said the so-called white man, woman, and child blood has to be shed in this land. For all the atrocities that they put upon our people. Right? You think the Most High God forgot about the Pequot massacre? That's right. You think the Most High God forgot about the Trail of Tears? You think the Most High God forgot about the transatlantic slave trade? <laughs> that was it on that? Yeah. All right, Kyle, go back to that in, uh, in Job. Read. I got Job right here. Uh, you got a piece of it? Yeah, yeah. All right, bring it up. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35, verse 5. Right out. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Because they had their what? Had a perpetual hatred. And these people have a perpetual hatred, man, right? Like I said, they, they can't even answer a simple damn question, right? Hey, let me ask y'all something. How y'all feel about this? We have to go get an inhaler. No, no, you don't. No, no, you don't have to get an inhaler. You got to answer this question. And <laughs> hey, we hope you have a damn asthma attack and drop dead. That's right. right? We don't. 
and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. I did what? Shed the blood of the children of Israel. They have did what? Shed the blood of the children of Israel. And the so-called white men have shed the blood of the children of Israel, which are the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. I see yes. And these damn devils have the have the damn audacity to come out and say that we're not the real Jews. Talk about that we anti-Semitic, right? The audacity of these damn devils, man, right? That don't make no damn sense, man. We not anti-Semitic, we anti-Eden. We anti-Emelin. Right, we anti all these damn heathens that continue to oppress our people.